in a restaurant that is on uh, was because they closed now is Dragon Garden. Oh. It's behind to the Crown. It's, Crown Plaza. Yeah, be, Crown Plaza, isn't it? Oh. Okay. But they are already Hello. closed. Hello. Hello, Chair. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, ladies and gentlemen? Who is the man? Ah, oh, there are three, four. <laughs> there are three, of course. Jose Luis, we have Jorge Alberto, Nelson, and Edwin. We have four men right now, and me, right? Um, so, <laughs> oh, welcome back. <laughs> yeah, but I, I can't greet myself, okay? So uh, I love your shirt. No, how, how do oh, you call it? Shirt? It's shirt? Shirt, yeah, my shirt. Shirt. Uh, okay, thank you. Um, so, how are you feeling today, Randy? Well, I was lucky with Edma that I was driving. They start with the Zoom today, and I was driving, so I feel like a headache when I'm driving. Uh, okay, got it. Edma, got it. what about you? I feel happy to share because today I have the video Zoom with my classmate from three ladies. Three ladies? <laughs> Who are the three ladies? <laughs> three ladies? I had to practice the video Zoom. I think it was Jenny, Isaura, it was you, and it was one more. It was me too. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. Jenny, how are you today? Hi, teacher. Hello. She's sitting. Yeah, she's bon appetit. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to clean the camera a little bit. Okay. Now it looks a little better. Okay. Uh, what about Jancy? How are you Hello, feeling today? Sir. How are you doing? Hi. Um, very tired. Tired. Okay, how do you say very tired? Um, in my house, clean. Cleaning, and... okay. So you say exhausted, right? Exhausted. Yeah. yeah. It's excited. It's exhausted. 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 Okay. Yes. Exhausted. Exa yeah, exact exhausted. Okay, so we have um then the next one is Nuvia. Nuvia, how are you feeling today? Hello, teacher. Fine. Hello. Um fine. And, okay, there's a problem with the microphone, probably. A él normalmente se le, se le traba el micrófono. No se le uh -huh, escucha uh -huh. el micrófono. Yeah, that is a problem. Uh, Norma? If you have a problem with the microphone, Hello, don't forget evening. to write in the chat. Okay, Hello, good evening. How are you feeling today? Uh, I'm very good. Very good. Okay, I'm glad to hear yeah. that. Relax at home, right? Okay. Nice. Let's continue with Jorge Alberto. Jorge Alberto is working right now, so he's just listening. He's, you can write in the chat. Uh, Nelson Adan. Nelson, are you there? You can write in the chat if you have problems with the microphone. Then after Nelson, we see Isaura. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you doing? I am pretty well today. Pretty I am well. pretty well today. Okay. Yes. That's music to my ears, okay? That you're okay. Um, then we have Edwin. Edwin? Alexander. Hi, coach. You have um, a very powerful last name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hercules. Yeah. 
I'm very happy, coach, because Barcelona lost today. <laughs> no. Broken heart for me. No, the good coach. News, the Real good Madrid news, is the, the good best is team that, in the world. The good, the good thing is, the good news is that they are still in the first place, and uh, that Aguila also won today. So Aguila won today. So that's good. Um, <laughs> Okay, Edwin, nice to listen to you. Uh, Nelson Adan says that he's good. Okay, he's good. Uh, next one, Melvin. How are you doing today? Hi, teacher. Mm, I feel very good, too. Very good. Okay, excellent. Uh, Jose Luis? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good uh, my day is very hardly. I... I help to my mom and my daddy, and I working and I study uh, English. And for example, mm -hmm. the topic uh, uh, phrasal verb, modal verb, and adjective. And I will study in the platform uh, English. Nice. Purpose. Excellent. Okay. Thank you for that. Uh, then we continue with Jesus. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you feeling today? I am tired. Tired. I am tired. But tired but happy. <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay, okay, got it. Um, uh, yeah, no, I mean, today is Wednesday, right? So that means that we are a little tired in the middle of the week. Right, just waiting for Friday uh, or for Thursday because tomorrow is the last day of the of, of classes for this week, right? And um, let me see, uh, who's missing? Victoria, I think it's Leslie, right? Leslie Victoria. Yeah. Hi. Good uh -huh. evening. Good evening. Uh -huh. How are you doing today? I am very, very good. Thank you. I am tired, but uh, I am, I am good. I am, uh, estoy bien? I'm, How yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm well. I'm okay. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> nice. Okay. A little tired, yeah. but. A little tired, but, but happy. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, uh, that's something important, right? The attitude that we have. Because it's normal to feel tired, it's normal, it's normal to feel stressed, to feel a little, um, let's say, sometimes we don't feel a lot of motivations. It happens, right? We are humans, right? But the attitude, right? The mentality is important. So when we are, we can say, I'm tired, but fuck it. Okay. So you focus on the positive, right? More than on the negative. Okay. And that's why we're Salvadoran, right? We're Latinos as well. Uh, so El Salvador is considered to be one of the of the happy countries, right? With, because people are very optimistic. So that's important, being optimistic. Giselle, how, how, about, how about you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing I, uh, today? How are you feeling? Tired uh, because of heavy traffic. Oh, yeah. Traffic is stressful. Mm -hmm. Horrible. Yeah, horrible. That's correct. Um, and well, but you're here, so you're home. That's important. That's good. And Sylvia. Can you hear me, Sylvia? Yes, teacher. Yes. How are you today? How are you feeling? How are you doing? How's it going? Is stressful. Stressed. You feel stressed. Okay. okay. Why? Like uh, the Backstreet Boys okay. song. Tell me why. <laughs> traffic. Because of traffic too. Okay. Too. I'm sorry about that. Um. Well, the majority of you living in areas where there's a lot of traffic. Uh, so it's understandable, right? It's understandable. Um, so let's try to take this this class, right? Like a little moment to disconnect from stress, from responsibilities, and just practice, right? The language. 
so that's obviously something nice. Uh, speaking of uh, motivation, something that it's, I don't know, uh, that I normally do uh, to relax a little bit is to listen to music. I like to listen to music that has like a positive message, let's say. Uh, so that helps me to relax a little bit. And um, one song that I can recommend you, for example, uh, that is has, well, I mean, a song that has a positive message is called uh, The Best Day of My Life. That's the name of the song, The Best Day of My Life. I think the name of the band is American Authors. Uh, it's a good song, coach. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's uh, a fantastic song. I think it's the best day of my life. I'm going to write it in the chat so you can Google it or YouTube it later. The best day of my life. Okay. If somebody has YouTube uh, open, you can share the link, right? So your classmates can listen to the song later. And uh, so I would recommend you, right, to create a playlist with music that make makes you feel good, music that makes you feel happy with good mood. For example, the the song is the name of the song is Happy uh, by Pharrell Williams. Uh, I think it's Pharrell Williams. I'm not sure. But it's Pharrell something. <laughs> Um, it I will, is. I will, yeah, right. Is so, I send you the link. Nice, is um, this? yeah, for real. Thank you. And no. another song that is also, uh, is considered one of the happiest uh, songs. Uh, it's a classic one, uh, from the ELO that is the Electric Light Orchestra, it's called Mr. Blue Sky. So I will share that with you in the WhatsApp group as well right now. So you can start making a little playlist, right? So of music that in English that can make you feel in a good mood, right? That is a song. And uh, the other one that I was telling you was Happy, right? Um, Pharrell. Mm -hmm. Pharrell Williams, that's correct. Okay, so you have it over there in the group. And here it is. So those, just to give an example, there are three songs, right, that have a nice vibe. Uh, and there are more, okay? If you have one re song recommendation or music recommendations, wait a second. If you want some recommendations about music, you can ask me, right? I, I like music, so I, I know a lot of songs in different kind of uh, decades from the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. Uh, the 2000s, right? And um, all kinds of music, electric, uh, pop, disco, et cetera. Now, let's move on. Uh, yesterday, you had the possibility to practice, right? The conversation, that's something that you had to do to practice the conversation, to prepare for that. And also to study a little bit about the topic, neither, either, and so, right? Th those are the ones that we're going to be using today. Uh, I say, I, I share with you a link, right, for practice, a link for video, uh, two pictures with information. Well, for practice, I share two links. So uh, don't worry, be happy, correct. Uh, and then uh, there's another one that is really nice as well. I just remember it's called Hall of Fame by The Script. It's it has nice lyrics. It's it's not the music. It's the lyrics. Okay, it's about uh, optimism, right? That I can do what I want. I can achieve my goals like that. So um, let's move on. Now, as you already practiced, right? We are going to have just a couple of uh, conversations. Only two conversations. So that means that we have four participants, right? Four volunteers to practice because unfortunately the problem with the breakout rooms uh, was not solved, right? So we still have uh, not access to the breakout rooms. However, however, something that uh, we are going to use is extra tools, extra tools for chatting, okay? 
So um, in this case, let me share this with you. Uh, well, I will share the link with you when the internet, uh, it's a little faster. Uh, but in the meantime, let's move on with this. And I'm going to share the screen, okay? So that we can practice the conversation. Let me know when you see the screen. Okay, this and share. Okay. Um, see it. Can you see it now? No yet. It's loading. Okay. So let's just wait. All right. Um, raise your hand. Okay. Hey, raise your hand. Now we're going to use the hand. Raise your hand if you had a little moment uh, or you took a little moment to practice the conversation or the links of, with the exercises that I shared in the WhatsApp group. So uh, raise your hand, please, if you had the opportunity or the, the if you took a little time to practice the conversations. And also, uh, if you practice the exercises with neither and either. Okay, raise your hand, raise your hand. Like, yes, teacher, I had five minutes to practice. <laughs> okay, during lunch, right? All right, it's loading. This is the opposite of Fast and Furious. Some persistent, this is not loading, it's stock. Okay, I think I'm back. All right. Okay. Um, can you see the screen now? Yes, no. What's going on here? Mm -hmm. Uy, qué tarde. Ay, Ay, es demasiado de pelo para mí. <laughs> Ay, eso ahora estoy en medio. Cambiando okay. aquí hacia ejercicio. Teacher, I shared, I think you tried to share this. Y, uh, the conversation, the conversation. Uh, Just tell me the page. Go on, go on to the, uh, to the lesson 13. Go, 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 go all the way down to the next lesson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with this Zoom in my computer. I think that I'm um, going to update it. Maybe that that can help. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, Down? Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a lesson 13. Um, after the self-assessment, go ahead. The one that we started yesterday. 
Okay, after uh, yeah, we talk I about food, remember? Okay, was right there. Talking about uh huh. This one. Go up. The conversation. Conversation. Okay, right there. Yeah. So um, that's the one. Going out for dinner. Okay. So I ask you to practice, right? So that we can have some volunteers and try it out. So the conversation was, say, would you like to go out, go out to dinner tonight? Or would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Then, sure, where do you wanna go? Sure, where do you wanna go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? What do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. But I'm not really in the mood for it today. Mood. Uh, yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. It's a bit spicy. Mm, and how do you like Japanese food? How do you like Japanese food? How do, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. I've always wanted to go there. I always wanted to go, wanted to go there. Terrific. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay. If it is difficult for you to, to, to pronounce those um, link sounds, right, or those reductions, uh, just practice with the normal pronunciation, right? Like, I always wanted to go there. I always wanted to go there. Okay? No problem. Uh, remember that is, this is something that you do step by step, right? Now, terrific. Let's go. That's the, that's the end of the conversation. So only two conversations because of time, please. Uh, people who uh, want to practice right now. If no, if nobody want to practice, I can raise my hand. Okay, I need four. Okay, so I have Melvin, Edwin, excellent. Wait a second, uh, Evelyn, Edwin, and Melvin. The other one is Edma. So we have Edma and Melvin and Evelyn with Edwin. Okay, e e e a lot of e's. Edma, Edwin, Evelyn. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> let's see. So Melvin, uh, yes. you will be Jeff, and uh, Edma, you will be Bob. Okay. And then Evelyn with Edwin, right? Okay, ready, set, mm -hmm. and go. Say, would you like to go to head out to dinner tonight? Sure. sure. Where, Where you want, want to go? go. This one. <laughs> it's me, teacher. Okay. Yeah, Edwin. Everything you go with Edwin in the second round. Don't worry. <laughs> That's okay. Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you do think of India food? Indian food. I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. I guess it's a bit spicy. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Mm, terrible. Let's go. Terrific. No, terrific. Ter <laughs> terrific. Terrific. Let's terrific. go. Let's go. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, excellent. Reactions for them, please. Some claps. And now we're going to continue with the next two, right? Evelyn and Edwin. So, Evelyn, you will be Jeff, and Edwin, you will be Bob. Okay, coach. All right. Okay. Um, Three, two, one, go. Uh, say, would you like to go to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of India food? I love it, but I am not really in the mood for it today. Uh, yeah, I know either. I guess in the bit and the by spicy. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it all. 
I like it a lot. I, I like it enough. And I I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. I call it Iroha. Oh, Harley always wants you to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Excellent reaction. Some claps or thumbs up or taras for them. I can't teacher because I'm can't see this part. I don't know why because I'm sharing the screen. Yeah, probably that's the reason why it's difficult to say it. All right. Uh, so hold on. There were two people who wanted to do an extra round. So I'm going to uh, give them the opportunity. In this case, it's Norma and it was uh, Norma and Jose Luis. Okay. Okay. Norma and Jose Luis. Go ahead, please. Uh, Jose Luis, you start with Jeff and Norma with Bob. Ready, okay. set, and go. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of the India food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, not either. I guess it is a uh, biased spice. Mm -hmm. How do you like Japanese food? Oh, yeah, I do too. And I don't know nice Japanese. Restaurant oh, near here. I like it a lot. The, the, Oh, I, I, I have always want to go there. Oh, Let's go. Let's go. Let's, go. Let's go. Okay, so there was just a little coordination uh, over there, but that's okay. Don't worry. Excellent. Okay. So we're going to move on. And now we are going to uh, move on. So this, this is the exercise that we said that is necessary to pay more attention, okay? So I'm going to tell you three things, okay? Three things about this specific topic. So uh, you need to remember, right? We need to remember that uh, we have some specific words for negative and some specific words for affirmative. So for affirmative, as you can see here, we have two magic words. We have so and we have to, okay, for affirmative. And for negative, we have neither with the auxiliary in the affirmative, neither do, right? For example, neither do or neither am, neither can. And we have either with the auxiliary in the negative, don't, I'm not, can't. Right, so um, we have the two options. So whatever option you want, it's okay. That's number one. You need to identify which one is affirmative and which one is negative. Now, uh, second, there is a, there are other options to agree or disagree. For example, when you say, uh, let's say I like pizza. Oh. Uh, really, for example, really, me too. Okay, it's a simple word, a simple way to say, I agree, uh, or I think the same, right? Really, me too, or yes, me too, whatever, right? Me too is another form. Now, for the negative, another form is the one that we practiced yesterday. Uh, for example, I... I dislike, I dislike, um, let's say. Uh, sushi. Sushi. No, I will use something different, something that I personally dislike. Uh, I dislike uh, garlic. I dislike garlic. Garlic. Um, and then you say, oh, uh, I don't like garlic. It's simple form. I don't like garlic either. I don't like garlic either. It's a complete form. 
But if you want to use another form, you only say me neither, me neither. It's short, it's simple to remember. But obviously if we have these forms, we need to learn how to use them. Now, number three, you need to remember one thing that is important. You need to identify what modal verb or what auxiliary verb you are going to use in your response. For example, if it is the verb to be, if it is the verb to be, for example, I am tall, I am tall. And you, you say, yo también soy alto, right? You say, the auxiliary is am, the verb to be, right? Remember the verb to be, we have three forms in the, in the for example, in the present, right? Am, is an R. Okay, so if I say I am tall, you identify am ah okay is a is a bird to be. So the answer is going to be para decir yo también soy, soy alto okay o, yo también. You say so am I. So am I. So the order is like that. We use so the auxiliary or modal verb and the subject, and the subject. So, so am I. Si quiero decir, uh, for example, mi hermana también es alta. No hablo de mí, sino que también mi hermana es alta. You say, so, what is the, what is the auxiliary for sister, for, for she? Is. Is. Her. So, Her. is my sister. So is my sister. También mi hermana, right? So, so is my sister. Now, um, if you want to say, él también, referring to a person, right? Uh, that, that is next to you, for example. You say, so is he. So is he. Now, with other verbs, obviously it changes a little bit. And for this, we have modal verbs. Pay attention, we have can, should, may, could, would, etc., etc. Those are the most common ones. Now, what happened with those verbs? That is a good question, right? What happened with those verbs? Oh, if I use the verb can to express an ability, I can speak in words. How the book, right? Are you there, teacher? Uh, can you can you hear me? Um. Yeah, but I can't see you. Ah. Okay. Okay. I can see on camera right now because I was having some connectivity. But I don't. I don't know if you can hear me well. You have problem with your microphone. Oh. Uh, wait a second. Yeah. Sometimes right it's allowed and sometimes it's down. Okay. Now. I'm yeah. Going to Checking. Okay, perfect. So, if I say I can speak English, and you and you want to say nosotros también, teacher. How do you say nosotros también? We. So we. Okay. Remember the order. So Remember the we. order. So can we? So. So then can we need to use we. the modal verb. The modal verb. Are. So. so. I said. Yo dije, I can speak English. I can speak English. Yo puedo hablar okay. inglés. I can speak English. Some Now. So, can we? So, can, we? Uh -huh. so, can we? we? Okay, so, can we? Mm -hmm. Pay attention in the chat, right? So, can we? Now, if you want to say, if I say another example, um, I I would like, okay, I would like, I would like to be a millionaire. I would like to be a millionaire, okay? Me too. <laughs> okay, now, I would like, pay attention to the auxiliary. Tienen que identificar el auxiliar que estoy utilizando o el verbo modal, okay? Esa es la clave, identificar cuál es para yo responder con ese mismo verbo. Okay, the modal. So, I would like to be a millionaire. 
millionaire. So okay. I would like to be a millionaire. It's in the chat, okay? I would like to be a millionaire. So, so what I? is... Huh? So, what is, the, so, what is the model? What is the model? So what is the model? What is the model? What Como estoy hablando de mí, de yo, right? I say I. So, would I? So, would I? And that is the order. That is the order. So, would I? Okay. Uh, now, that is the, the first form. Now, teacher, what happens if I say, uh, for example, I, I love, I love, uh, let's say, Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. No. <laughs> an example. It's an example. I love Harry Potter movies. How would you say, a mí también me encantan? So, am I? Uh, okay, utilice el verbo I love. So, do, so, ¿Cuál es el verbo que utilizaría? Ajá, ¿cuál es el verbo que utilizaría como auxiliar? I love, I, do, uh, so love I. Do, no. do, do I. and does. Do and does. Para el presente simple, el do and does. Con cualquier verbo, excepto el verbo to be. Porque ese es independiente, right? Um, no ocupa ayuda. So, um, if I use play, cook, work, dance, love, uh, eat, drink, uh, etc. Work, uh, speak, listen, etc. Uh, we use the auxiliary do and does. You remember that does is only for he, she, and it. Mm. Let's practice. Example. I listen to music every day. Yeah. I listen to music every day. And you want to say individually, right? Individualmente, ustedes quieren decir, yo también. I do How too. would you say? So do I. So do I. So do I. El, el so pronombre, do I. el sujeto va al final siempre, ¿ok? So do I. I. So can so I. So am I. So would I. So should I. Um, so, um, let's Does see, for example, if it is a, uh, uh, if I'm talking about my sister, my mom, my my best friend, etc., right? A, a girl, I say she. In this case, so does she. So does. So does she. Okay. For example, I listen to music every day. My sister listens to music every day. So I listen to music every day. And so does she. Y ella también. And so does she. Okay. Now, I have one dog. I have one dog. Si usted también tiene un perro y dice, yo también tengo un perro. Yo también. How do you say yo también? So do I. So, so can do I? I. Okay, so do I. I have a dog. So do I. Okay, now, if I say, if I say, for example, um, let's use the example with, um, as a group, as a group, right? Um, I... Practice English uh, every night. Let's suppose that is every night. Or I practice English at night. Y ustedes como uh -huh. grupo dicen, nosotros también. How would you say that? So do we. So, so, do, we. so do we. Excellent. So you see, it's a matter of practice. Es cuestión de práctica. Una vez lo entiendo, <laughs> empiezo a practicarlo. Y a veces, no lo entiendo, voy a practicar para entenderlo. Okay? Um, so it depends. You can do that. The, you can use the two ways, right? Study mm -hmm. and to and practice or practice to understand. Okay, it's okay. Now, um, what happened? What happened with the other form? I am too. I do too. I can too. Esta es un poco menos común. Okay. Uh, for example, I, uh, let's say, I watch. 
series. I watch series in my free time. I watch series in my free time. How would you say that in the second form? Utilizando la segunda estructura. I do too. Yo también. I do. I do too. Toma. Two. Okay. Now, I can cook. I can cook. Yo puedo cocinar. I can too. I do. I can too. Two. Two. Solo es un verbo auxiliar. Okay. I can too. Okay, I am uh, from El Salvador. I am too. I am. I am too. I am too. I am too. Okay, two. se me olvidó la coma en el I can. Uh, so, I am too. Uh, now, if you want to say... Uh, Teacher, I have a question. My dog, my dog, my dog is beautiful. Y ustedes quieren decir, mi perro también es bonito. Okay, how would you say that? It's so, it's so, it's so, uh, it's so, it's so. Okay, uh, in this case, <laughs> if we practice the, the form number one, the form number one, so is it's... my dog. So is my dog, form number one, so is my dog. Form number oh. two, my dog. Two. Is two. Is okay, two. my dog <laughs> is two. Es two. Um, como le digo, esta segunda forma no es tan común. Okay, la más común y formal podría ser la número uno. Okay, so am I, so do I, so can I. Um, if it is a simple past, okay, what happened with the simple past? For example, I took a shower this morning. Okay, me duché esta mañana. How do you say yo también? So, so I do. No, it's in the past. Oh. I took I took two. What is your theory that we use in the past? Did. 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 I took a shower I. this morning. And you say, yes. So yes. did I. So, so did, did I. I. So did so I. So did I. Excellent. Uh, so and in the affirmative, that's the way we do it. With in the past, right? Did. Um, if it is the future, if it is the future, for example, using will, will. Uh, for example, I will go shopping. I will go shopping tomorrow. So will I? Yes, también. So will I? Uh -huh. You say so. I, I, will, I will do. So will I? I. So will I. Okay, so utilizamos so el verbo I, auxiliar. Or I will too. Or I will too. Uh-huh, correct. Now, affirmative, are we okay? Like, yeah, ya entiendo lo suficiente para poder practicar y hacer los ejercicios. Okay. Please Pero like todavía it. ocupo un poquito más de práctica. Okay. Yeah. If that is the, the, the point where you are right now, give me a reaction or a thumbs up. Um, okay, si sienten que... Ok, ya creo que ya entendí esto. Voy a practicar más para terminar de entenderlo. Ok, si ya están ahí, pasamos al negativo. Ok. Eh, yes, no? I can react. <laughs> ok, so, good. Now, But in, the negative, like in the negative, we use neither and either. Ok, so neither... Is at the beginning, okay? The same, the same order, el mismo orden que el afirmativo con la diferencia que cambiamos la palabra, okay? So um, let's go with the example. Uh, let's say my mom is a good, let's say cook. She's a good cook. Es una buena cocinera. My mom is a good cook. Y ustedes quieren decir, yo también. Okay, para hacer la competencia. Yo también puedo, teacher. Uh -huh. How would you say? I mean, uh, I, right, I use the affirmative. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I use the affirmative. I forgot. My mom is not a good cook. Okay, mi mamá no es una buena cocinera. Un ejemplo, es mentira. Sí puede. 
Okay, my mom is not a good cook. Neither do I. Yo tampoco. My Neither mom is I? not. My mom isn't. Listen, pay attention. Neither, my mom neither, neither isn't. Do I? isn't. Neither am I. My mom, neither, my mom I. isn't. Uh, isn't. Uh -huh, correct. Isn't a good cook. Okay, como hablo de ella, utilizo el isn't. Pero en el caso que hablen de ustedes, utilizan el. Mm, um, neither. Um, uh -huh. Uh -huh. So we say neither am I. Neither am I. Excellent. Am I. Neither am I. Yes, neither am I. Um, I can. I can. Uh -oh. uh, I can't stand Bad Bunny. Mm. I can't stand Bad Bunny. Y lo siento que tengo siempre Bad Bunny, pero es como que no, lo tengo aquí, no, no lo aguanto. Ok. I can't stand Bad Bunny. No puedo aguantar. I can't stand Bad Bunny. Ok. Si nos unimos y decimos que tampoco nosotros, ¿cómo lo dirían como grupo? Ok. Neither. Neither can we. Neither can we. Neither can we. Correct. Neither can we. Um, Let's suppose that I use another example and I say, um, I don't, I you don't like to place, eat, yeah. I don't like to eat uh, okay. fast food. You okay, question, question, Yes. What is the question? In ese caso de la negativa, no lleva coma al contestar, al escribir. Nope. No, no comma. Yeah. Thank you. So, good question. Okay. Now, I don't like to eat fast food. No me gusta comer comida rápida. A veces tengo que, pero normalmente no me gusta. Okay. Supongamos que ustedes tampoco. Que alguien por aquí tal vez diga, no, sí me gusta, pero solo por, por practicar. Okay. <laughs> I don't like to eat fast food. How would you say... Yo tampoco. A mí tampoco. Neither do I. Neither, Neither do, I. Do, do I. Do I. Now, how would you say a mi hermana tampoco? Neither does she. Neither does she. Does she. Neither the, podrían utilizar she cuando ya hemos mencionado a la hermana. Pero si no lo hemos mencionado, vamos a ser específicos y decimos, neither does my sister. Neither does my sister. Ok, neither does my sister. Ok. Um, so, if you, pay, if you pay attention, ok, uh, we use the same order. Ok, el mismo orden, solo cambiamos la palabra. Ok. Now, the second form, the second form is with either. Either. So, we have the subject, the, the negative, the auxiliary in the negative, or the model in the negative, and either. For example, I don't have a motorcycle. I don't have a motorcycle. How I do don't either. either. I don't. I don't either. I don't. I don't either. I either. I don't either. I don't either. Okay. Now, another example. I am not an arrogant person. I am not an arrogant person. No es una persona arrogante. I can't. I am not either. I am not either. I am not. Excellent. Or you can use a contraction. I'm. I'm not. Uh huh. I'm, I'm not, not either. 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 I'm not either. Excellent. Um, I can cook lasagna. I can cook lasagna. I can't I either. Can either. I can't, I can't I either. Can't either. Okay. I can't either. Can't either. Nice. So as you can see, this is not something difficult. We just need to practice okay we need to practice so um in the next exercise can you please scroll down uh brendy scroll down a little bit okay wait a wait a moment 
right there. Um, can you click on the... Second. Uh -huh, right there. Okay, uh, if you click on the... No, it's okay, I can, see, I can see it from here. Okay, just vocabulary about the consistency and the taste of food. But in this case, it's more about uh, the taste, right? The first one is healthy, healthy, with the sound theta, right? Healthy. Okay, everybody, please listen and repeat. Healthy. 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 Greasy. 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 Okay, breezy. 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 Next breezy. is salty. 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 Rich. 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 Okay. Spicy. 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 Delicious. 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 It's not delicious. Okay. La, la, la zapateria, no. It's delicious. 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 And the last delicious. one is blonde. 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 Okay. Blonde. Now, uh, in this case, what you are going to do as homework, okay, as homework to practice is to write your response response to show agreement with these statements, okay? The uh, agreement can be negative or affirmative. I am going to give you my personal example, my personal example. I'm going to do number one, number five, and number 10, for example. Number one, I'm not crazy about French food. Neither am I. Neither, Neither am, I. am I. And not. Five, I don't like salty food. I don't like salty food. Identifico el, 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 el auxiliar, okay? I don't, ah, I don't like salty food. Okay. In this case, neither do I. I. Neither do I. Or I don't either. Para practicar ambas formas, utilicen la pleca, utilicen la pleca y ponen la segunda forma, las dos formas. Okay? Now, number 10. I can't eat blonde food. I can't eat blonde food. Neither can I. Or I can't either. Okay? So, that is the example okay of what you're going to do so you read the sentence and you write the response okay and tomorrow you we discuss a little bit okay uh your opinion right about this uh, now for example number seven number seven uh, i'm crazy about korean food para usted para, para alguien de ustedes puede decir yo también so mm -hmm. that is affirmative and you say so am I. Can am I? I. So Can am I. I. Or I am too. I am uh -huh. too. But in my case, yo voy a escribir una respuesta negativa. I'm going to write a negative answer. Mm, I'm, not. Negative. I'm not. I'm <laughs> not. Don't uh, be negative. Example, como que alguien me está diciendo, estoy loco por la comida coreana. Mm, yo no. I'm not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Puede ser una respuesta corta, negativa. I am not. Okay. Or... I am not crazy about Korean food. Okay, puedo escribir una oración completa para decir no. No estoy loco por, la, por esa comida. Okay, now, eh, scroll down, please, a little bit more. So you do the exercise A in your notebook, right, for tomorrow. Now, eh, okay, we're going to finish with the exercise number, I mean, exercise letter C, letter C. Right now, you are going to mention, okay, you can copy, you can take notes, two kinds of food that you like 
two kinds of food you can't stand and two kinds of food you are in the mood for. Two kinds of food you are in the mood for. So number two, for example, is dos tipos de comida que no soporta, no tolera. Ya sea porque no le gusta porque le hace daño, right? Um, and number three, two kinds of food you are in the mood for. Okay, dos tipos de comida por la cual están en, como con ganas de, de, de comer. Como que, mm, ahorita me dan ganas como comerme unas pupusas, right? Like that. Uh, como que estoy de humor para comerme unas pupusas ahorita. Okay, a veces tenemos esos antojos o, o ganas de algo, ¿verdad? So that would be the case. Okay, uh, so you mentioned one example, okay? One example because of time, one example each. Let's go with number one. Mention what kind of food that you like, okay? Brandy. One the, kind of food that you like. Uh, seashell, because now maybe, yeah, okay, seashell Okay, las conchas, maybe. okay. Jose Luis, one kind of food that you like? Sushi. Sushi? Yes. Okay, nice. Evelyn? Chinese food. Chinese food, okay. Chinese. Edma? Mexican food. Mexican food, Nubia? What kind of food that you like? India food. Too. Um, Mexican food. Mexican food too. Okay, Melvin. I like hamburgers. Hamburgers. Okay, yeah. Jancy. Pupusas. <laughs> Pupusas. Okay, Jenny. I like the chicken soup. Chicken soup. Okay, Victoria. I like Chinese food. Chinese food, okay. Jorge, uh, I think Jorge is working, so you can write it in the chat. Isaura? What type of food that you like? Okay, Isaura is not answering. Edwin? Mexican food, coach. Mexican food. Silvia? I like tacos. Tacos. Okay. Think about the number two, right? Uh, Oscar. You can write I in the chat. Ah. I like Arabic food, like uh, uh, Arabic. See Arabic. Uh, okay, uh -huh. Arabic food. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, Interesting. For example. Uh, for example, the kebab. Kebab. Okay. Got it. Norma? With sheep meal. Ah, with sheep meal. Okay. Okay, Norma, I don't know if your microphone works. Oh, and number two. Sushi. Number one. One kind of food uh, that you like. I like pizza and pupusas. Pizza and pupusas, okay. Um, you should try the pupu pizza. Okay, then we have Jesus. I like fried chicken. Fried chicken, okay. Uh, Nelson? I'm not sure if Nelson can use the microphone. I think he's working. Uh, so we continue with number two. What kind of food that you can't stand, okay? That you can't stand. I cannot tolera on or les cae mal, right? For example, uh, I can say- I like Sorry, I can't stand, I can't stand, for example, whole milk, whole milk, leche entera. I can't stand whole milk. Okay, no es que no me guste, sino que no la tolero mucho. Okay, I can't stand whole milk. Um, ready? I can't stand, uh, damn, I say the one, exotic food, like a snake. Exotic food. Exotic uh -huh. food. Garrobos. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, you can't stand exotic food. Okay, mm -hmm. Jose Luis? No, teacher. I love you. Sushi roll and pizza. Had it in wasabi. And tango. So you like all the food? Yeah, all. All. A lot. Okay. No problem with Jose, Jose Luis. Okay, <laughs> okay, thank you for sharing. Edma? Okay. Um, 
I can't stand. I can stand a uh, onion. Onion, okay. Onion. onion. Uh, Nubia? Nubia? Hello? The next one. I think that yes. Nubia cannot listen to me. She got to the bed. <laughs> no, she's there, but I think she's not listening to me. Um, uh, okay, Melvin. I can stand pacaya. Pacaya, okay. <laughs> uh, Evelyn. It's delicious. <laughs> I I can stand whiskey. No sé. How whiskey, do you say okay. whiskey? <laughs> whiskey, that's, is a type, whiskey. that's a type of squash. It's a type of squash. Un tipo de, de calabazas de whiskey. Okay. Uh, Jancy. I can stand rellenos de pacaya. Okay. It's delicious. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, some people don't like liver, for example. Like some people can't stand liver. Alguna persona no puede aguantar. No, no, no le gusta el, el hígado, por ejemplo. Okay. Uh, Jenny. Uh, I can stand um, ayote. Ayote. Okay. That would be a, a squash as well. Uh, Norma. I can't sushi and garlic. I can't stand sushi and garlic. Okay. Uh, Leslie? I can't stand dairy products. Dairy products. Dairy products. Very good. Productos lácteos. Excellent. Dairy products. Uh, next one. Uh, after Jorge, wait a second. I'm going to write in the chat. Jesus? I can stand crabs. Crabs, okay, los cangrejos. Okay, nice, interesting. Isaura or Sylvia? I can Sarah, stand Isaura. junk food. Junk food, okay, comida chatarra. Sylvia? I can stand onions and milk. Onion and milk, okay. Uh, Oscar? I can't stand the maruchan soup. It's the worst for my health. Maruchan soup, okay. <laughs> um, then we have, uh, well, Edwin, I think he's working. And Nelson, I don't know if you are there. Nelson Adan. And I think we almost finished with everybody. Everybody participated, yes, no? Melvin, did you say your answer? Yes, right? Yes, Pacaya. Ah, but the, the, the Bacaya, correct. Okay, Nubia, I don't know if you can hear me, Nubia. Yes, teacher. Okay, tell me something that you can't stand, one food that you can't stand. Uh, I can stand cheese. Cheese, okay, el queso, that's okay. Interesting. Okay, now, uh, if you pay attention um, to distinguish the affirmative and negative, for example, with the with the verb can, what we have to pay attention is to the stress. If you want to say, eh, puedo jugar, you say, I can I can play soccer. I can play soccer. I can play soccer. But if you want to say, no puedo jugar, you say, I can play soccer. I can play soccer. So you stress the can. Suena igual que el can en afirmativo, pero con mayor fuerza de voz. So, for example, can you play tennis? I can't play tennis. I can't, no, I can't play tennis, teacher. Okay. Can you cook um, Chinese food? I can cook Chinese food. I can cook Chinese food. Can okay, so I scroll can. down a little bit, please. What we practice right, right now in this uh, little example somebody, is just, it's, can it's somebody, okay, don't worry. Uh -huh. So what we're practicing here is the stress in responses. Okay, I can say, puso no hay problema. So uh, we're going to practice this, okay, tomorrow, the stress in responses, okay? Que mm -hmm. palabra tenemos que estresar más o ponerle más énfasis? Cuando respondemos. So English is a little different than Spanish in this aspect too. 
So we're going to practice that tomorrow. So don't forget, please, that you just need to complete the exercise that we had above, right? Responses for the exercise A. Can you please scroll up just to show it? No, up. Up, up, up yeah. to the exercise that you have to complete a. in your notebook. Uh-huh, exercise A, correct? Page number 87, exercise A. So you write the response to the sentences, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Your personal response, okay? Response. So it can be affirmative or negative, but remember to use the two forms. Utiliza las dos formas, okay? Now, uh, we're going to finish. Do you have any questions uh, about today's class, about today's session? Yes, no, maybe later, no. teacher. No? Okay. No, teacher. So no. if there are no questions, that will be all for today, guys. Thank you so much for your comprehension, nice. okay, because of the technical problems that uh, that we had, in, well, that I had in the middle of the session. Um, and I hope that now this topic about either, neither, so is a little clearer for you, un poco yes. más claro, right? So remember that practice makes, they say practice makes perfect, yeah. pero para mí la perfección no existe, okay? <laughs> for me, practice <laughs> makes improvement. Yo cambié ese, ese, ese dicho, a uh, la práctica hace la mejora, okay? So uh, okay. the more you practice, the more you improve. Uh, Brandy, you have a question. Uh, no, I just want to say thank you. And I think if you share your screen, you have problem always. I think. Yeah, that, I think that I can, that I can the help you like a little today. crazy. <laughs> I can uh -huh. help you like today because I don't have problem, as you can see. Uh -huh, exactly. Yes. Yeah, okay. we're going to, to do that. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. It was a pleasure. Don't forget tomorrow is the last day, so we're going to uh, finish with the with this review part of the section three, and we're also going to take a look at some exercises from the platform. Okay, in case you have questions. So mm -hmm. have a good night. Get enough rest. Good night. Thank you, teacher. We're going to have this. Don't good eat night. too much. Okay. Well, so see you okay. tomorrow. Goodbye. Okay. See you tomorrow, guys. Good take good care good and take a shower. <laughs> or bye. Always. <laughs> no me toca. Not tomorrow, okay. <laughs>